Prince Philip Health latest. Will Duke return to Sandringham after lockdown? Prince Philip's health has long been a topic of concern, and especially so in recent months thanks to the coronavirus pandemic. But will the Duke return to Sandringham after lockdown? And could the Queen join him there? Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth II left Sandringham in March and have been isolating in Windsor Castle since the lockdown began. Queen Elizabeth II, 94, and Prince Philip, 99, are considered to be particularly at risk from the virus due to their old age. The couple, who were in isolation for the better part of four months, were reportedly shielding from all but a handful of relatives, close friends, and staff members of Windsor Castle. With the Duke return to Sandringham, the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh are about to leave Windsor Castle to go to Balmoral for a month-long socially distanced holiday. Members of the royal family will meet for their annual summer gathering at the Highlands estate. They will, however, stay in separate lodgings on the estate in a bit to preserve social distancing measures. The Queen will not host guests in Balmoral Castle, but will join them for walks, shoots, picnic and barbecues instead. It is believed she will be accompanied by a number of new staff members added to the 22 strong team who continue working for the monarch at Windsor Castle during lockdown. They will include her pages, personal assistant, secretary, a team of dressers and her equerry, Lieutenant Colonel Nana Kofi Tsumasi and Ka. The new addition to her staff will include extra chefs and housemaids, undoubtedly to prepare for the guests. All the new workers will, however, have to be tested for coronavirus before arriving to Belmoral. Going to Belmoral for the summer holidays has long been a tradition for the Queen. She has religiously spent 12 weeks at the Aberdeenshire estate every summer for the 68 years she has resigned. She does, however, usually head up to Scotland much earlier than August. Her plans had to be amended this year. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have announced they also will also be going to Balmoral for the summer along with their three children, Prince George Seven, Princess Charlotte V, and Prince Louis II. Royal commentator Katie Nichols said that Prince George 71 is looking forward to spending time with his grandchildren during a family holiday at the estate following five months apart. She wrote, Prince George will be on engagements in the south west of the country on George's birthday, July 22nd but is looking forward to spending time with all his grandchildren when the Cambridges head to Scotland for a family holiday next month. Prince George and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, spent most of lockdown at Burke Hall on their 50,000-acre bomb and more estate before leaving in June. The Cambridge family spent lockdown together in isolation at their Norfolk country home and Hall. Social distancing rules will be a challenge for the youngest family members. Prince Louis, according to his mom, the Duchess of Cambridge, goes out wanting to cuddle everything. However, if the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh will return to Sandringham after their summer trip to Balmoral remains unseen, the Duke lives in a small cottage on the Royal Sandringham estate for much of the year, while the Queen remains at Buckingham Palace. Prince Philip left the big smoke of London behind after his retirement and will likely be keen to get back there. While the Queen is said to be devastated at the thought she could never return to Buckingham Palace, Kate Thornton from the True Royalty TV said, We are hearing rumors that the Queen can never return to Buckingham Palace, that William and Kate will be in their next the age and stage she is in life with Prince Philip. Is it possible that Prince Charles could succeed the throne? Buckingham Palace has declined to comment on the Queen's plans and have described this as a private time for the monarch and her family.